Hey everyone guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So as usual, uh, today in this video episode, we will uh, actually learn something new and my video actually is a little bit tutorial, a little bit reviewing video, a little bit just uh, about Shopify, my uh, experience right here. Uh, and actually this video is gonna be about Shopify. So as usual, I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your shares, comments, and I'm actually, how does Shopify work? So actually Shopify is an e-commerce platform that hosts your online store. So basically it helps you to organize the layout of your store's appearance through themes which you are free to modify or change any way you want. Basically, it also offers payment processing, which allows you to accept and receive payments um, for the products you sell. So Shopify owns the popular dropshipping uh, app, and this app is called Oberlo. Uh, this app, uh, this actual app, allows you to choose from millions of products that you can start selling the same day without having to pay for inventory upfront. Um, basically. Uh, there are many products where uh, which you can actually sell on Shopify, uh, such as clothing, jewelry, um, it may be uh, pet products or even a baby maternity products, travel products, it may be home accessories, automotive accessories and much more. So uh, I really do hope that this video is going to be very useful for you and in this video episode I will show you all how you can add products uh, in your store and actually how the platform is look like so you may watch in this video uh, episode without registration and after if you uh, actually under under understand that it's uh, your uh, perfect choice to start your business business so you may try your trial periods on Shopify so first of all uh, you need to start a free trial um, a free trial period right here is uh, 14 days uh, and it uh, will ask you your login I mean email uh, your password uh, and of course the name of uh, your store so uh, so I'm um, actually this is the email address and a password uh, and then basically uh, your store name. If you don't have a store right now, it's not a problem. You may imagine what store will be and let it be toys for children. So uh, actually let's... Um, <laughs> Okay, let it be this name, please don't judge me so strictly because it's just an example for you. So, of course, you will imagine your personal name of uh, your site. So, it's just an example and after you need to uh, click bottom to the create your store and I'm going to do the same. So I'm actually right here you have a two steps and you need to fill all this information. So are you, are you already selling, for example, I'm not selling products yet or you sell with a different system or you selling but just not online. So it depends on you. In my case, in this video episode will be I'm not selling products yet. Did you have something to say? Oh no, I'm just playing around on Shopify. Uh, revenue, it's an optional, I would say, and um, not only optional. Uh, so uh, I won't uh, show you my revenue because it doesn't, uh, you don't need to know this information is not so important. You, it's just your personal information that you need to fill. So I guess that it's not so important. So which industry you will be operating in, it will be beauty, 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 electronics, furniture, home, groceries, sports, toys, and uh, related to toys, and actually the next. 
The next, what you need to do to fill all uh, actually these gaps with appropriate information. What kind of information? Name, surname, street number, additional address, postal code, city. Uh, so right here you need to fill all these gaps. Country, region, it may be uh, right here you have the list of the countries, so it depends where you uh, phone. Uh, and after, it's optional right here at the section, and after you need to enter my store. So the first thing you need to do, of course, uh, is to select a plan. Why? Because if you would love to actually um, to sell products right here on this service, uh, service Shopify platform, so basically you need to have to select a plan. And of course, if you would like to, uh, I would say, continue uh, beyond this uh, 14 days trial period of course you need to select a plan let's check all uh, how what plans actually uh, we have right here in Shopify and um, actually in Shopify we have three plans basic Shopify Shopify and advanced Shopify so uh, to be honest I guess that basic Shopify will be your best friend it has staff accounts two and four locations uh, it has um, here you have actually credit card rates and to be honest um what i can say it's uh, it's really your best friend because you know it's uh, 29 dollars it's not a big number i would say so uh you may try with this uh plan uh recommended right here is shopify um it's you know it's just like a golden medium i would say and advanced shopify if you have many actually online stores so uh that's actually a plan will be appropriate for you uh so what i can add let's actually uh talk a little bit more about how to add actually products so clicking directly to the bottom of products we have actually all the products and right now we don't have any products so uh clicking directly to the bottom of add products we will actually um to fill all the important and appropriate information about the product uh, to, we will upload the media and don't forget that right here you have actually the name of your store okay so I'm um, actually right here uh, you have a title and this is should be a title of your product a description as usual uh, try to uh, fill right here a uh, full description of the product uh, media please try to make your content uh, actually in high quality it's really important because if you would like to sell your product and uh, if you would like someone to uh, actually uh, buy your product, it's very important to uh, to show this product in high quality. So remember that your visual content should be nice, should be perfect with uh, actually good images and portfolio. And of course, pricing if your product has barcode or um, stop keeping unit uh, how uh, many um, products are available right now weight and all of this information so as I said um, our store is about uh, toys for children so let's search some toys so I might decided to add actually a Baby Yoda toy uh, from the Star Wars and actually this, are, uh, this is the title, yeah, this is product feature, the full description and actually the media. So basically that is how it looks like and remember that the media should be always in high quality if you would like uh, actually to sell your product. Okay, so basically that it's uh, visual content, how it looks like, yep, and basically uh, the price. So the price, compare it price, uh, cost per item. Actually, if your product has a stock keeping unit, you need to actually add this or a barcode. Uh, quantity, uh, how much, uh, actually, how many these baby yodos are available, yep. Uh, the weight, country of region, United States, yep, and actually if this product has multiple options, for example, you can add size, color, and that's all. And of course, uh, save all the settings 
and actually i would love to check the preview how it looks like and we will right now check actually the preview well i'm actually right here we have uh, more actions and uh preview so it will show us actually the preview yep that is how it looks like so the cost right now um all actually the media and actually product features so basically in this way that is how you can add products on shopify um so i might can say that shopify allows beginners to create online store without any coding skills and experience yeah and i would say when we'll um you know, building a Shopify store, online store, what you are really building is a business, to be honest. Uh, it's not a passive income stream and starting a business isn't necessary an easy thing to do. And Shopify at first, uh, you know, at first point is not very easy. It's a very intuitive platform, but the only thing is just you need to, I would say, uh, to practice and it's really just takes some uh, practice, takes some time. And there are additional plans, so such as the light plan, which gives you the opportunity uh, on social media. You can also be purchased for about $9 a month. And Shopify also offers an, I would say, enterprise plan, a cult plus plan for gigantic online stores. It's not cheap, uh, you have to know about it as it starts uh, $2,000 a month, yeah. And of course, the domain name costs extra, starting at $14 per year. Uh, but you know, first of all, I uh, would love to uh, tell you that you just need to try. You have a trial period. Is this actually uh, be uh, good for you or not? And uh, what I can say, let's go back to uh, actually our uh, home um, of this home section of Shopify. And uh, at the section of home, uh, we have actually the bottom of customized theme. Clicking directly to this bottom, we actually will uh, have uh, the themes. Uh, current, what we have right now, yep, so it's just like uh, all in gray, I would say, and it uh, doesn't have any pictures, but we have theme library and we can actually explore uh, free themes and for example what themes we have directly right here uh, there are not so much right here so many uh, of these themes but we may uh, start from I would say this one and so let's start from actually this theme just to uh, just as a part of an example you know uh the next what we got actually this is a page home oh, yep uh so actually we just added product we customized a theme the next thing you need to add a domain but this video episode is about actually adding a product and for example if in case i think that of course one product is not enough i would love to add the other product and all the same steps i need to repeat but the product will be uh, the other one so on that actually I decided to add the other toy just an example and to save all the settings okay and at the section of all the products you can check that we have two toys not only one so basically here we have eight uh, actually toys baby others in stock and for example uh we have this toy and actually here information we can uh change for example yeah or delete or change in depends uh actually on the situation and of course the name the vendor of actually uh, our store name so uh what i would love to uh tell you actually uh oh and i forgot to show you the preview one more time about this uh actually more action and here we have the preview so um, basically that is how it looks like all the same but uh, actually media uh, we have the other content and the description 
So this is the end of this video episode. Uh, I'm waiting as usual for your comments. I'm waiting for your personal opinion about Shopify, how you ever tested Shopify or you use the other platform. And if you use, in case if you use the other platform, please write me in comments what the, is the name of this platform. And uh, to be honest, I really do hope that this video will be useful for you. I wish you good mood, good vibes uh, with Shopify and of course with my YouTube channel. And see you soon in another video episode. Bye!